Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about the mathematical analysis of reflex Hystron oscillator. So in the mathematical analysis, in this video especially, I will explain how to determine the distance traveled by the electron in the Rippler space. Okay. So in the last class, I have explained about the operation and working of this reflex Hystron oscillator and uh, the generation of three different electrons early electron late electron and the reference electron okay so this is the Rippler space that the electron has to travel from this gap from this gap towards this Rippler space as the Rippler electrode is applied with the high negative potential the three electrons will be rippled back at different different positions that different positions is because of different velocities so three different electrons early electron late electron and reference electron so reference electron early electron and late electron these are the three different electrons that are originated at this gap and traveling towards this Rippler space now i am going to explain about what is the distance traveled by the reference electron from here to here and this is the x okay we are taking the distance as x and the distance is determined by the Rippler voltage and the electrons are originated because of this application of VA. As I am going to discuss the calculation of the distance traveled by the reference electron, the accelerating anode is the only responsible voltage on the generation of electron and the travel of this Rippler uh, reference electron. Okay, that's why I'm taking the reference electron into consideration and as well as the accelerating voltage that you can represent with a, a V0 or VA. Okay, both are same. Now, just I'm taking the outer structure, just uh, it is the cathode and it is the anode. Cathode is nothing but the electro, uh, electron gun. And the anode is the place where we are having the what is that cavity it is the voltage V naught or VA you can take it as anything V naught or VA and this is the rippler space rippler space yes is the rippler space the distance in the rippler space that the electron has to travel this is the rippler electrode rippler electrode now the distance traveled by the electron let us consider the distance as x the distance traveled by the electron is x from this gap or anode to the certain distance x the distance traveled by the electron the time taking is t2 and t1 okay that means it goes forward and again coming back to the junction so the velocity of electron v0 is equal to we know already small v refers to the velocity and capital v refers to the voltage so 2 e v0 by m here you can represent v a or v0 based on your convenience and this is the standard velocity after the application of this anode voltage so the velocity becomes v1 and now some rf voltage is generated we are taking that as v0 plus v1 v1 is the amplitude of the signal sin omega t1 divided by m under root okay so again after just rearranging this equation 2e v0 if you take common by m and this one is a 1 plus v1 by v0 sin omega t1 we know one condition that v0 is very very far greater than v1 okay so how we can say this is nothing but standard velocity v0 and into this one 1 plus v1 by v0 sin omega t1 whole power 1 by 2 so using the binomial expansion you can uh, neglect uh, you can uh, expand this one and as well as you can neglect the higher order terms so what could be this equation so using after 
the application of binomial expansion after the application of binomial expansion the equation becomes v1 is equal to v0 into 1 plus okay you can take it as 1 plus v1 by 2 v0 sin omega t1 so keep it aside if the first equation whichever we want we can consider that one later take this as 1 and take this as 2 okay now to calculate the distance to calculate the distance traveled by electron which is x we are taking it as x so electric field consider different parameters like a force electric field we should consider here so electric field e is equal to v naught minus v r by s so electric field is equal to voltage by distance electric field is equal to voltage by distance so here voltage is nothing but uh, accelerating anode there are two voltages i told <laughs> accelerating voltage and as well as repeller voltage so it is the difference between these two vr minus v v naught minus vr by yes here v naught again again i am saying v naught is nothing but uh, anode voltage or accelerating voltage anode voltage or accelerating voltage so the force acting on this electric field the force acting on this electric field is equal to what is that electric field so electric field is e and the charge of the electron is e minus e into capital e so that is equal to minus e into v naught minus v r by s that is equal to e by s into v r minus v naught minus goes inside this is the force acting on this electric field now normally we know force is equal to m into a mass into acceleration mass is nothing but m acceleration at a distance or at a displacement x how we can write acceleration is nothing but rate of change of velocity and uh, velocity is nothing but rate of change of displacement so uh, two rates are there two differentiations so d square x by dt square it is nothing but force now equate these two this force and the previous one so m into d square x by dt square that is equal to e by s into v r minus v naught okay so d square x by d t square is equal to e by m s v r minus v naught so what we need to do to avoid this uh, differentiation we need to apply opposite case what is that integration so apply integration integration we need to do with respect to t only so dx by dt is equal to e by ems e by ms vr minus v naught into t plus some constant c1 okay so in the integration definitely some constant will come that is c1 okay now at a time t is equal to t1 i have already mentioned two different uh, voltage uh, time instants so one is t1 and the one is t2 okay so that you need to consider now at time t1 dx by dt is equal to velocity v1 at time t1 dx by dt is equal to velocity v1 so v1 is equal to 
V1 is equal to E by MS into VR minus V0 into now T becomes T1 plus C1. So we need C1 is equal to V1 minus E by MS into VR minus V0 into T1. So substitute this C1 in the previous equation. Uh, already we have taken two equations. This is third equation. Okay. Substitute that C1 in equation 3. Substitute C1 in equation 3. So dx by dt is equal to E by ms into vr minus v0 into t minus sorry plus v1 minus e by ms into vr minus v0 into t1 okay so if you take this uh, e by ms into vr minus v0 common e by ms into vr minus v0 into t minus t1 plus v1 okay this is dx by dt now again in order to what we need we need to calculate the distance traveled by the electron that is x we need x only not dx by dt so again apply integration apply integration again so what happens x is equal to e by ms into vr minus v naught into now here t term is there previously t term was not there now t term is there so t minus t1 keep as it is t minus t1 whole square now by 2 by 2 minus here v1 into t plus some other constant c2 okay here it is plus or minus plus okay now we need to calculate c2 so at t is equal to t2 x distance traveled by the x is equal to 0 see here go to the diagram at t is equal to t2 distance again the electron comes to the rest position nothing but gap so at t equal to t2 distance traveled by the electron is 0 because again electron is coming back x is equal to 0 so x is equal to 0 if you substitute you will get c2 is equal to minus e by 2ms vr minus v0 into t2 minus t1 whole square minus v1 into t2 therefore if you substitute c2 in equation x so x becomes therefore finally what is the expression for the x x is equal to e by 2ms vr minus v0 into t1 minus sorry t minus t1 t minus t1 whole square minus again we are just uh, taking it as common t2 minus t1 whole square plus v1 into t minus t2 okay this is what the distance traveled by the electron in the Rappler space okay so in the next video i will explain how to determine the output power thank you